all right in this short video i want to show you the basic editing steps that you need to take when editing your video clips okay basic editing steps you need to take while editing your video clips uh, you don't have to use all the options you don't it's not every options in the editing app that you have to use okay some people in an attempt to edit professionally they they end up messing up the whole thing because of too much editing write up is not properly placed um transition is not properly used and all of that your your video becomes so boring to people okay so now if you want to do some major editing steps pay attention to this go to new project we want to select a video let's use this one okay so we'll select this video and then import it into CapCut. Now, once you shoot your video horizontally on a landscape position, pay attention to this. Many of you make these mistakes, okay? Once you shoot your video horizontally, the first thing you need to do once you import your video into CapCut this way, don't touch anything yet. The first thing you need to do, scroll beneath your screen here, if you are using your phone, of course. All right, scroll beneath your screen. Can you see aspect ratio here? Click on aspect ratio. Now, put it on 16 ratio 9. Please, don't use 9 ratio 16 for a video you shot horizontally. Don't use this, don't use this. Go for this one please i'm still saying it go for this one click on it all right so when you click on it it shows that the video is already on 16 ratio 9 now if you click on 9 ratio 16 see what it does to your video all right so this is not the good ratio to use okay not even these not even all of these go for this one then okay it here good now the next thing you need to do on this video assuming you shot your video the background you don't like the background you don't like you know the background is not beautiful of course you need to sit on a chair that is armless now go straight click on the video down this is the video all right this one click on it when you click on it scroll at the bottom here scroll keep scrolling keep scrolling keep scrolling till you find what we call remove bg can you see it remove bg if you are using CapCut pro it is free but if you are not using CapCut pro you cannot use this feature right now okay CapCut has updated it up so if you are not using CapCut pro you cannot do this okay and if you need the CapCut pro please contact me as soon as possible and i will attend to you now click on auto remover don't use chroma key don't use custom remover it will stress you your video will not be professional at all so click on auto remover when you click on auto remover you wait can you see it has removed the background automatically you have a dark background then okay it here so assuming you saw a beautiful picture somewhere on facebook or somewhere on the internet you you say wow i want to use this picture as my background video okay so we have downloaded it already now the next thing you want to do scroll down to the end here can you see background click on background okay when you click on background go to image click on image then these are pre-installed images but we are not using them of course if you want to use them you can use them these ones are pro features okay i can use them because i am using CapCut pro can you see can you see the background it has reflected already so but i don't want to use that i want to use an image i downloaded click here when you click there go straight to your photo all right this is your photo i want to use an image of this cat this white one so you click on it can you see it has appeared behind him assuming you don't like that click here to cancel it off all right click there cancel it off then go to your photo gallery again go to your photo gallery let's use this one okay click on that one can you see so then you click ok here good so this is it i've changed my background can you see that i have changed my background now the next thing you want to do basic editing steps basic 
these are the things you know that you need you cannot do without them all right basic editing steps you want to add a subscribe button okay if someone is watching your video you want to call out to the person please subscribe go to overlay click on overlay here all right when you click on overlay it takes you to your gallery again so it takes you to your gallery now put it audios here when when it's under videos you begin to scroll to look for your subscribe button you can check the description under this video and you will find the things that you need there okay you will find where you can get your subscribe button from okay so i have my subscribe button here and that is why i'm scrolling looking for where i saved it okay this is my subscribe button i will click on it okay i click on it then i click on add here when i click on add it brings it to this interface now the next thing you want to do scroll it down like this okay make sure your cursor this white line is your cursor it's on the highlighted spots okay then you scroll and go to remove bg again this time around you are not using automatic remover you are using chroma key so click on chroma key chroma key is free on free cap cuts okay then look at this line here hold it and then drag it outside of it okay when you do that can you see it has some some little linings of green on it so this intensity this one click here this white line and then drag it to take off that green lining okay when you are done with that when you are done with that click here like this if you want a volume on this subscribe button go to volume make sure it's on the subscribe button this one make sure whatever you are doing is here okay go to your volume you can take leave it here hello dear one how are you today can you hear that so the volume is too high you can leave it at at two or at five or just take it off completely okay hello. so okay it here now the next thing you want to do with your two fingers hold it down and then bring it to a smaller size okay can you see that and then bring it toward the edge please don't leave your subscribe button here don't leave it here don't leave it here it's so annoying whenever i watch your videos all right so leave it beneath here okay so leave it here and then that is it okay so you can drag this to anywhere you want it to be if you want to duplicate it click on it this way go to duplicate you find duplicate here okay go to duplicates look at duplicate here click on it it's duplicated so you can click on it hold it down then drag it to where you want it to appear again in the video all right so you don't have to go through that process again doing all of that look at it here so and then CapCut has where you can get like buttons from click on overlay again then click on add overlay then this time around you are not going to your photo gallery okay click on library can you see can you see library here click on it when you click on library it loads click on green screen okay look at green screen here click on it good can you see your like button here click it there select it and then click on add okay click on add now you follow the same process you follow the same process just to remove the green background go to your remove bg once you go to remove bg use chroma key drag it outside the line then come and drag intensity a little then leave it this one you don't have to reduce volume it doesn't have any sound so all you just need to do with your two fingers bring it to a smaller size and then drag it to the end here okay leave it there so can you see both of them will appear simultaneously on your screen okay 
very very beautiful it makes your video look so beautiful now basic editing steps the next thing you need to pay attention to very important very very important audio okay don't shoot your videos without background music okay for me my channel is a tutorial channel most times i choose to use background music i choose not to i don't want to distract people that much okay so even this video i will not include a background music all right now to add background music go to audio go to audio and then click on sound can you see sound click on sound when you click on sound there are music on CapCut that are copyrighted please I am sounding this now. I've had to delete a lot of videos from my channel. In fact, muted some of them because later on, after two, three weeks, after one month, they placed copyright on my video because I used a background music from CapCut. So be very careful. You can search the kind of background music you want here slow, fast, you know, party or something, anything you want. All right. Just type it party music click on party music but of course who knows party music might be copyrighted okay then you click on the music let it finish downloading can you see it here yeah, good so so this is party music we want to use this background click on this plus sign then it brings it here for you now reduce your background music let your voice be audible than the background music okay go to volume immediately and then reduce it down to about just three or four it's okay hello dear one how are you today okay so but if you don't want to use a background music from CapCut, delete this one click on delete delete this one then go back again to sound when you go back to sound again you want to use the one in your phone i already have a tutorial on this channel where you can get free background music from please go and watch it so when you click on this folder sign this folder icon here click on device okay now these are the music these are background music in my device can you see them all of these are background music so and they are all free they are not copyrighted so i can use this plus sign just bring it here click on it hold it down drag it to the end then reduce the volume to about just two or, or three hello dear one okay it's okay now basic editing steps what you need to do when you come to CapCut text text is important okay click on text now if you want to use auto caption auto caption is not free until you subscribe to CapCut Pro before you can use auto caption but it's beautiful it makes the whole thing beautiful okay look at auto caption click on auto caption I like I told you if you need CapCut Pro, please reach out to me. Choose your template here. I want to use this one. All of these are CapCut Pro features and then click on generate. You can see it's generating already. So this is how you can use these features on CapCut Pro. And this is how you can generate a text for your video. Okay, so you need to pay attention to this once the text is done generating the caption you see the video is beautiful everything you are saying is already translated on your screen okay people can see it everybody can read it it's bold enough you know it doesn't stress people these are the basic editing tools if you like you can go for my book titled from zero to youtube hero all right go for that book and you will not regret it the link is in the description of this video and then the next thing you can do you can use text to audio here can you see text to audio okay you can use that you can use all of this option auto lyrics and all of that okay then another thing you need to do if you want to add transition to your video i've covered all of this in one of my videos please go online and watch it the more okay so i want to add transition to this video i click here 
I click here, okay, then click on split. You click on split, then click on this white dot, okay, click it there, and then go and search your transition, okay, or you can use any of these um, tools that are here. Go to slide. When you go to slide, you have all of these, okay, you can use this Y wheel or magnifying or cute rotate so you play to this channel if you are new to welcome you to this channel if you are new to this channel and you see that all right so these are some of the major editing steps you need to take while recording or while editing your video you can watch more how to use CapCut, how to excel in CapCut editing on my channel all right thank you make sure you subscribe